Hello, welcome everyone to another week of Fuel Up with Team Battle Chef. My name is Chef Anastasia, and I'm so excited today because we're going to take a zucchini, a simple ingredient, and turn it into something super easy and delicious, zucchini lasagna roll-ups. So we are using a zucchini instead of pasta to make lasagna. Who is planning to cook along with us today? I see, is it Lainey? Lainey's cooking along. Melissa's cooking with me, of course. So that brings me to the next point. Every week, I'm so happy to cook along with a Team Battle Chef ambassador. And today, that is Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Um, my name is Melissa. Um, I'm 15 years old, about to be 16. Ooh. Okay. I'm from the Bronx and I go to Landmark High School. Awesome, thank you, thank you. And every week we also have our guest chef. So today I see Lainey's cooking along with us. So as always, why don't we make Lainey our guest chef and give Lainey the spotlight as well so she can cook right along with Melissa and I. All right, perfect. All right, so like I said, we're making an awesome zucchini lasagna roll up it's called so it's going to be baked in the oven so you want to start by preheating your oven to 400 degrees before we get started to go over what we need so make sure you preheat your oven we're also going to need a baking tray lined with a paper towel second Let's let everyone else enter. Hello, chef number one. If you want to change your name to your real name, I can call you chef number one. And also where you're from, what school you're from, what city you're from. Hi, Nayelis. I haven't seen you in a while. So Nayelis just joined. So as people are joining, I'm just going over what we need for our zucchini lasagna roll-ups. But before we get started, actually, why don't we go over how to keep it clean and safe in the kitchen? So if we can pull that slide up. And Melissa, what do you remember about keeping it clean and safe in the kitchen? Well, I mean, not to look at the slide, of course, but huh. like washing your hands is very important and not touching your phone. Like a lot of people take that for granted, too. Like they wash their hands and touch their phone, but your phone holds a lot of like bacteria and stuff throughout the day. Um, also like uh, trying to avoid like like certain surfaces like your hair or like you know anywhere that's not what you just cleaned up like right in front of you and um, knife safety skills are really important like I know like turning the knife away from you and if you're passing the knife put it down then let them pick it up. Great. That's a good point. So of course you want to keep it clean like she said wash your hands guys. Um, tie up your hair if you have long hair or put it in a hat. And also, if you're wearing any dangly jewelry or jewelry that might get in the way while you're cooking, you want to take that off as well. If you have any long sleeves, you want to roll those up so that doesn't get all in your food. And like Melissa said, be careful with your knife. If you're working with a buddy, you don't want to point the knife to them. You want to keep it pointed away from you when you're not using it on your cutting board. Just a reminder, guys, so on my cutting board, my knife is pointing away from me when I'm not using it, so we can keep it safe. And if you're cooking along with anyone, ask them to join you now so we can get started. So back to what I was saying, what do we need for our zucchini lasagna roll-ups? Simple, simple, simple. We need our oven and we need to preheat it to 400 degrees. We need a baking dish, something like this, if you guys can see. So something with raised edges that we can put our lasagna in. We need a baking sheet with paper towel. We also need a bunch of our ingredients, right? So let's go over what we need for the actual ingredients. So if you guys can see, we of course need our zucchini. So if you're making a two serving, like the full recipe, you need two zucchini. I have one zucchini, but you can always double it and make two or even three, yep. Then we need some olive oil, two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to need some salt and some black pepper. You need about, 
All right, you need about a tablespoon of oregano, one to two tablespoons. So you can do two if you like oregano, right? What else do we need, Melissa? Do we have our flour? Um, yes, we do. Oh, wait. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, yeah, and the cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, ricotta cheese. Oh, so many cheeses, so yummy. So we're going to need about two tablespoons of flour if you're making two zucchini. If you're making two zucchini, you're going to need a half a cup of ricotta cheese, nice creamy ricotta, ricotta cheese. You're going to need one egg. I already have mine beaten up, so that's one egg. You're going to need a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. So that's our second cheese, as well as a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And we'll go over everything as we cook again. And then you're also gonna need some marinara sauce or tomato sauce. So a half a cup of that and a half a cup of grated mozzarella, grated or shredded, which I will shred by hand or you can have the pre-shredded kind, but it's a half a cup of that. Now, Melissa, are you using anything different from what I'm using? Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually using um, red pepper flakes. Like I just like a little kick to my stuff, so. I like that. So you can add your own favorite spices, guys, favorite seasonings. If you have maybe Italian seasoning in the house, go for it. If you have another type of cheese you wanna put in there, Go for it. I think there's no wrong answer here, right? Sounds good. So now that we know what we need for our zucchini lasagna roll-ups, let's see how much we know about these ingredients. So why don't we play a game called Kahoot? So if we want to pull up our game Kahoot, I know you guys love to play. So as our lovely Joelle pulls up Kahoot. Everyone get their devices ready. Go to www.kahoot.it and then put in that game pin that you see on the screen, 348-1254. Anybody could play, anybody, except for me, because I know the answers. <laughs> so that's cheating. <laughs> Anybody can play. So you're going to go to Kahoot.it, or if you have the Kahoot app, that's great. And type in this game pin, 348-1254. Look, our little snowman friend is waiting. There's Mosh. All right, Melissa's in the house. Who else wants to play? We need more than two, guys. We want this to be as competitive as possible. So somebody put the game pin as their name. I'm not sure who, but Nyelis joined as well. Welcome back, Nyelis. We missed you guys. All right, I'm gonna give you guys another 30 seconds to join. And we're gonna play Kahoot. Zucchini, hi Ava, thanks for joining. Lainey, are you playing? Are you gonna play Kahoot? No. It's okay. You can just play along as you see it on the screen. You're still gonna learn something, I bet. Hi, Luz. Hello. All right. I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds. You could always join if um, we're still playing, if you didn't have time. So five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Let's play a hoot. Let's play a hoot. Zucchini lasagna roll ups. In three, two, one. What's the code again? So it was three, five, eight. What was it? Sorry. I can't see it. I think it was three, five, eight, one, five, two, four. So has anyone ever made a zucchini, uh, lasagna with vegetables before? Either yes or no. So five of you have and two, two of you never have. So this will be your first time, hopefully. What was the card again? So is, what was it? Sorry, guys. Three, four, eight. 
It's at the bottom right hand corner. At the bottom right hand corner. Three, four, eight, one, five, two, four. What? One, two, five, four. So sorry. Three, four, eight, one, two, five, four. It's also in the chat box. The chat box. I can't speak today. So three, four, eight, one, two, five, four. Got it? Okay. Let's go to the next question. All righty. Number two. Which cheese is lowest in sodium or salt? Is it mozzarella cheese, American cheese, feta cheese, which is a Greek cheese, or blue cheese, which is that, you know, that blue cheese that you get with maybe some chicken wings or in a salad, I've seen it. Which one has the least salt? That's right, it's mozzarella cheese, especially the fresh kind. So fresh mozzarella has the least amount of salt. Oh, somebody's in the lead now, MSP girl, okay. Now, why is eating too much salt bad for us? Is it because it raises our heart rate or it raises our blood pressure? Blood pressure. Yeah. Yes. yes, that is correct, guys. So too much salt in our diets raises our blood pressure, which is not good for our heart, and it puts you at risk for heart disease, and we don't want that. So it's good to have some salt. We need salt, but not too much. And that's why cooking from scratch is best. Cheese is a great source of calcium, right? So which statement about calcium is false? We need calcium for strong bones. Our bodies naturally make calcium. We need calcium for healthy teeth or calcium is the most abundant mineral in our bodies. So we have mostly calcium in our bodies. Which one's not true? That's right, you guys. So since our bodies cannot make calcium naturally, we need to get it from food. And where does that come from? Things like cheese, milk, butter, right? dairy products along with some other non-dairy products but a lot of it's in dairy okay good job mosh why do we need vitamin c in our diets hmm for absorbing iron for wound healing for the immune system and for maintenance of cartilage bones and teeth i think there's more than one correct question here uh answer guys so i think they might be, hmm, let's see, all true. So we need vitamin C to help us absorb iron, which we need for healthy blood, to help us heal our wounds, for a healthy immune system to stay strong, and for maintenance of bones, cartilage, and teeth. So vitamin C is super important. And we put the pain as their name. All right. Good job, guys. Now, now that we know why we need vitamin C, what ingredients in today's recipe have a lot of vitamin C? Is it tomato sauce, oregano, ricotta cheese, or zucchini? There might be more than one correct one. That's right, tomato sauce and zucchini have a lot of vitamin C. So it's good for all that I just said, for our immune system, for our bones, for everything. Good job, you guys. I just need. Okay. All right. Good job. Why so, why is eating bright colored foods important? So, we have our red, our green in here. Why is that important? Because that keeps our hearts healthy. Is it because it keeps our skin healthy and prevent cancer? Is it because it contributes to good vision or because it keeps our brains healthy and prevents Alzheimer's, which is a disease of the brain all of these so that's why we need to eat the rainbow like I say we need all these colorful foods because it helps with a lot of things like heart health and skin and vision and our brains so the more colors we eat in our food the more nutrients and benefits we get are you ready smarty pants in the lead ladies there too Okay, true or false? Fiber is in the skin of fruits and vegetables, so the peel. 
So that outer part, the skin on the fruit and vegetable, does it have fiber? Is that true or false? Exactly, you smarty pants. So of course, we want to keep the skin on for if we can eat it, like apples and pears and zucchini and things that we don't need to peel. That has a lot of fiber, so we don't want to get rid of that. So that is true. Awesome. All right, number nine. Where do you find the fat in the egg? Is it mostly in the egg white or the egg yolk? So the egg yolk is in the middle and the egg white is surrounding it. So where's the fat in the egg? What do we think? Only one more after this. That's right. So it's in the egg yolk. So the egg whites have pretty much no fat, while the egg yolk has a lot of nutrients and a lot of healthy fats that we need. So it's mostly in the yolk. Good job. All right, last one, you guys. Which facts about zucchini are true? They were first brought to the USA in the 1920s by Italian immigrants. It is a cousin of the watermelon. Uh, the bright orange flower of the zucchini is edible. Like you see in the picture, you can eat that, right? Or one medium zucchini has more potassium than one banana. Hmm, they're all true. So everything I just said is true. Who knew? All right, good job, you guys. That was it. Let's see who our winners are. In third place, Lainey. Good job, Lainey. Wow. Second place, MSP girl. Awesome. And number one is Mush. Good job, Mush. Hey. So I hope you all learned something about our ingredients, about zucchini and cheese and our vitamin C. Now that we know why all this is great for us, why don't we get started? Melissa, are you ready? Yes, I am. Lainey, are you ready? Is everyone else ready? Whoever's cooking. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for joining. So whoever's cooking along, let's get started. So I'm going to take you guys back down. Now to get started, like I said, we have our baking sheet lined with our paper towel. And we want to start by cutting or slicing our zucchinis really thinly. So you can do that two ways. You can use a knife, which I know Melissa is using, or something called a mandolin, which is this you know, cool tool that makes the slices for you. And I'll show you how to do it with both. So you wanna chop off that stem of the zucchini first and maybe a little bit of the bottom, just like that. Put that in the garbage, I have my garbage bowl right here. Now that we have a flat bottom and a flat top, you wanna carefully thinly slice the zucchini as thin as you can. So not paper thin, about an eighth of an inch thin, just like that. You wanna keep going. So yes, Melissa is gonna show you exactly how to do just that. I'm gonna now show you how to use a mandolin. This is a mandolin. So you're gonna take your zucchini and just run it down the mandolin. And look at that, we have slices. And then you wanna place your slices right on your paper towel. And Melissa, do you know why we put it on our paper towel? Um, no, can you tell me? Yeah, so you guys, we're doing this for a reason. It's to absorb any extra moisture, so any wa extra water that might be in our zucchini. Because once you cut it, a lot of extra water comes out. So you don't want soggy lasagna, right? Nope. So that's why we line our baking sheet, which is big enough to hold all of our slices with paper towel. But look how Melissa's doing it with her knife. So she's making thin slices. Do you find an easiest way to do it? Hold it a certain way, Melissa? Like, what do you think is best? Um, I sort of do like a, like a bear claw and sure. hold it up and then try to do it like as thinly as possible, right. but also keeping like my fingers away. 
Exactly. So you want to be really safe and you don't want to cut yourself. So if you have somebody helping you look, oh, you have a mandolin over there. I see Lainey. That's great. It's super easy that way. So once you get to like the end of it, you don't want to chop any fingers off. That's not tasty. It's not fun. You don't want fingers in your lasagna. <laughs> so you might want to just stop when you get to a point that you feel it's really close to your fingers. So you see, we have our zucchinis already. How is everyone else doing? All right, if you have your other zucchini and you wanna make the whole batch, go for it. Yeah, so you can go ahead and slice that. Now, next up, we have our olive oil. So I have, if you're making two zucchinis, two ta three tablespoons of olive oil, I'm sorry. If you're making half of that, it's one and a half tablespoons. And I have a pastry brush. Now, if you don't have a pastry brush, you can use a spoon or your fingers if you wanna get a little messy. But what you're going to do is brush your zucchini slices with olive oil. Or like I said, if you wanna use a spoon, you can do that. So this is gonna make it nice and savory and kind of make it brown up a little bit. Okay, you wanna brush both sides. So Melissa, do you have, have a brush or how are you gonna do it? Um, I think I'm gonna use a spoon and Smart. then just spread it with the back of it. So yeah, whoever doesn't have a brush, you can watch Melissa. Wow, those look perfect. Good job. Thank you. Okay, brush, 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 brush. Is anyone else cooking along or is it just Lainey and Melissa and I? It's cool if you guys wanna watch and make this when you get home or you know, sometime later. I'm not judging. <laughs> All right, so you wanna just make sure you brush both the back and the front of your slices. Now you might think, how are we gonna roll this up? They seem pretty thick and not flexible. I'll show you exactly how it happens. So we're gonna use our microwave as well, you guys. So if you have your microwave, that's exactly how we're gonna speed up the process. Because I know lasagna might take forever to make, so this is a very speedy way to do it. So lunch will be ready in like 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so we have all of our zucchini with olive oil, right? So I brushed my three tablespoons of olive oil on my two zucchini, or I'm using one, so I did half of that. And now you wanna sprinkle your oregano, your pepper, your salt, and your flour. So those four things on each side of our zucchini. So I think I'll start with my pepper. You can do it however you want. So I'm putting pepper on first. Just like that. Then I'm gonna go in with some salt. Just make sure you put a sprinkle, not too much. Cause I said, what did we say? Too much salt is not great. Now, Melissa, have you ever made a lasagna or a veggie lasagna before? Um, I've made a lasagna with um, of like vegan meat. Mm. And I've added like peppers, but that's really it, to be honest. I would love peppers in this. Wow. Sounds good. So I see, love peppers. Like that's like my favorite thing. <laughs> and that's another one that's really high in vitamin C. So that's really good. Yes. Good to know especially red peppers. Did you know that one red pepper has more vitamin C than one orange? So we oh, always, yeah. yeah, we always think oranges are so high in vitamin C. Yes, eat a pepper. Yeah, <laughs> eat a pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying to just bite into it like it's an orange, but right. um, it's good to know. Yeah. So you see, I went in with my flour and I'm making sure it's just coating my zucchini slices. 
Now I'm gonna flip everything over and repeat that on the other side. So just like this, I'm gonna do again my salt, pepper, oregano. Oh, I didn't do oregano. Hmm. Okay. Glad you remembered. Yes. And there's other spices, dried dried herbs you can use. Like Melissa said, she's using red pepper flakes, but what other herbs do you think they can use? Um, you could also use parsley. I know that could work really well. Um, some, something else that could work too is like basil. Mm -hmm. um, and also mint, if you want like a sort mm. of a sweet end to it. I know I, I do that a lot because I like mint mm -hmm. and I grow mint. So it's like, oh, that's cool. cool. Yes. So I flipped mine over and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to sprinkle with salt. And some pepper. I did my oregano and now just some more flour on the other side. And the flour also helps absorb, absorb some moisture. All right, just like this. Your hands get a little messy, but it's okay. Just like this. I know nowadays there's so many pasta replacements. There's spaghetti squash. Have you ever seen that? No, actually. Oh, it's like a squash that looks like spaghetti when you cook it. Or the zucchini noodles. So zucchini is super versatile. Okay. And now that I have my um, slices all floured and seasoned, we're going to need a plate to go into the microwave. And you want to put a paper towel on the plate, just like this, and lay your slices right on it. So we get ready to go in the microwave. All right. I'm telling you, it's a super quick, super easy recipe. And if all your slices don't fit the first time around in the microwave, you can just take turns and do it in batches. I'm ambitious, so I'm going to try to fit them. <laughs> and I think I can. Yep. That'll all right. How are we looking over there? Ooh, Lainey, you're quick. Hi, Nayelis. Oh, Nayelis, I see you guys working. How's it going? I see you slicing up your zucchini. So once you slice that up, you're just going to make sure to put flour, oregano, salt, and pepper on each side. And if you need any help and miss something, just let me, let me know. So now that I have my zucchini on a plate with some paper towel, Sorry, I just gotta wash my hands. They're covered in flour. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for 40 seconds. So each batch goes in for 40 seconds just to soften them up a bit. All right. So I'm gonna pop them in. I have my microwave right here. 40. So while that goes on, I'm gonna clean my cutting board a bit. Okay, a little mess. And that's why I have my garbage bowl nearby. All right, I love that, Melissa, that you're using something you love. You like spicy food, so you put, you're putting red pepper flakes in it? Yes. Are you gonna put that in the filling or on the zucchini? Um, I just, I actually put it on the zucchini, so. Oh, smart. Yeah, so it's like really, you know. Okay. On great. Great, great, great. Oh, see how quick that was? It's already beeping. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like. So you'll see, they still look the same, but they're a little more bendy. 
so it's easier to roll up because we're making roll ups. I'm going to set that to the side for now. And I'm going to get started on my ricotta cheese filling for our lasagna roll ups. Does anyone have any questions so far? Need some more time for anything? Um, I'm about to put it in the microwave. So, okay. yeah, I need about like two minutes. Sure. How's everyone else doing? Let's see. Oh, I see Nayelis. Why don't we spot spotlight Nayelis for a second to add a spotlight there? I got it. Oh. So, Joelle, are you spotlighting? I'm sorry, I went to do it. So, you do it. Okay. I'm always getting my hands in something it's not supposed to be in. Okay. Wow, you guys, looking good. Looking good. Okay, is anybody else cooking? Lainey, how's it going over there? Thumbs up? Thumbs in the middle, thumbs down? Okay, cool. Great. Looking good, looking good. I see Melissa's putting on some olive oil. Perfect. Okay. So while some of you are maybe chopping up your zucchini, if you're cooking with a buddy, how about the buddy starts the ricotta mixture? So we have our ricotta cheese. It's for if you're making for two zucchini, you're gonna do a half a cup of ricotta. If if you're making for one, you can do a quarter cup. But two zucchini need a half a cup of our yummy, lovely ricotta cheese. And to that, I'm going to add Parmesan cheese. So grated Parmesan cheese, and you need a half a cup of that. Yum, yum, yum. So this is super cheesy. And one egg. So I'm gonna add that right in as well as a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Hi. So it's gonna give it a nice garlicky flavor. You can use fresh garlic next time, or you can use maybe another spice, another seasoning, some onion powder maybe. So in the bowl, I have my ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese and garlic powder, and you just mix that up. Good job, Nayelis. So half cup ricotta, half cup of Parmesan, one egg, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. You just wanna mix it just like this. And put that on the side. How's everyone doing? Good job, Melissa. Well, what goes after the um, the ricotta cheese? So it's a half a cup ricotta, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and then one egg, and then a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna set that up. All right. Then while you guys are catching up, um, who has fresh mozzarella and who has already, already shredded? Does anybody have fresh? Or do we have already shredded mozzarella? Yeah, mine is pre-shredded. Great, so I'll catch up with you then and shred my mozzarella. We're going to need a half a cup of grated mozzarella or shredded. So I'm just gonna take it to my grater that you'll see right here and shred it. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. And voila, just like that, we have grated or shredded mozzarella. So we have how many cheeses, guys? Ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, and mozzarella cheese. This is super cheesy. Melissa, did yours come out of the microwave? Yep, just now. 
Hey. All right, so why don't we start showing everyone how to fill up their roll ups? All right, <coughs> so first comes to first comes first, you want to grab your baking dish, right? And put a layer of marinara sauce or tomato sauce on the bottom of the dish so that's ready to go for your roll ups. So just a thin layer, just like this. So that is the sauce element of our lasagna. Because lasagna needs sauce. And we're gonna set that to the side. Okay? Put that right here. Now to fill up your roll-ups, you're gonna take one slice and spread some cheese mixture onto that slice. So some of your ricotta mixture, just spread it evenly on the slice, just like this. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And then, hence the name zucchini roll-ups, you're just gonna roll it up. And you'll see the microwave did a good job at making the zucchini a little more flexible and easy to work with. So you see you roll it up just like this and place that just right on top of your sauce. So you wanna keep doing that with the rest of your zucchini. So it's also really cool to look at. It looks like, ro like roses or something fun. And I never met a cheese recipe I don't like. I don't know about you guys. All right, let me check on everyone here. So does anyone have any questions while we roll up our zucchini? Nope. All right, then I'm gonna continue rolling. Let's roll with it. Bum bum. So you're just gonna spread the cheese, like I said. like that and roll. So this is a good project to work on with friends or a family member. It goes a lot quicker. You can all just grab a slice of zucchini and start rolling. But even if you're working alone, like Melissa and I, it's still super quick and easy. All right, this slice is a little thicker, so I might leave that one alone. You can see if you slice it too, too thick, they either might take a little more time in the microwave. So if you feel like they're still not flexible after they come out of the microwave, you can just put them in for another 20 seconds, 20 to 30. And maybe that might cook it a little more and make it easier to roll. Dun, dun, dun. All right, and we have our nutrient packed lunch or this is great for dinner. I got our vitamin C from what? Our zucchini and our sauce. Bunch of calcium and protein from the cheeses because we got a bunch of cheeses like we said. And they're all over my fingers. <laughs> all right, another thick slice. I might go from that end, yep. Oh my God. So yeah, I had a slice that might be too thick and it's a little harder to roll up. Oh my goodness. I'll just fold it. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna pop this in anyway because I don't want food to go to waste. <laughs> All right, perfect. Oh, wait, I have a question. Yes. Let's say you have like an air fryer or like, um, you know, like one of those smaller ovens, like can that work too? Yeah, you could totally use a toaster oven or I know a lot of air fryers have like a roast setting. You would just have to keep an eye on it because those smaller appliances get way hotter quicker. So you would put it in for maybe 
15 minutes because we're going to bake ours for 20. Oh, I see. Just check on it in between so nothing burns. Gotcha. But totally. If you don't have an oven or you'd rather use something small like a toaster oven, that could totally work. Cool. Good question. All right, you guys. All right, this big slice is going to go on the side and go in an omelet or something. Nothing's going to waste. So, yeah, if you have extra zucchini bits, save them. Don't throw them out. You could chop them up and put them in a stir fry or what else can they put some extra zucchini in, do you think, Melissa? Um, I know zucchini is like just really good, like in salads naturally. Like you could um saute it really quick, put it in there, or like um I notice it's really good with like pasta. Like when I make pasta, I like zucchini in my stuff. So yeah. you definitely use that. Good, good tip. All right. So once we have our zucchinis rolled up and placed on top of our sauce. We're just gonna go in with our third cheese, our mozzarella cheese, and just sprinkle it right on top. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. All right. So you guys keep working. If you're still rolling, that's okay. If you're still slicing, it's okay. You're gonna catch up. Okay, so my baking dish is a little too big for my lasagna, but you can see if I had another zucchini, it would fit it just fine. So now what, how long do we put this in the oven? 20, 25 minutes. Yep, perfect. So 20 minutes to start till it gets all nice and gooey and melty. So I'll just put that into my oven really quickly. Um, if we don't have an oven, do you have any other uh, suggestion? So what appliances do you have? We have a microwave and um, a frying pan. <laughs> a frying pan. So you can put it in the microwave. It just won't be as, you know, ooey gooey and brown, but it'll still cook. So maybe put it in for like minute intervals, check on it. All right, we're gonna try that. Yeah, let me know, I'm curious. <laughs> Did you already roll them up and put them in the dish? Right now, what are we making right now? This is, we're making the um, the cheese concoction. Okay, the cool. And the uh, ricotta cheese part. All right, as long as you have a microwave safe baking dish, it should be okay. So that's a good experiment. <laughs> I'm dying to know. Wow, Nayelis, I like the way your zucchini looks. So now you're gonna mix your ricotta cheese, a half a cup of cheese, with a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, uh, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and one egg. And that's gonna go in the zucchini and you're gonna roll it up. But, you know, I couldn't resist, and I know you guys probably want to know what the finished product looks like. So let me show you. I took one out of the oven, and you can see, let me show you, it's still hot. So a look at that. Nice. I know you guys, I'm not going to wait 20 minutes for everyone to bake theirs, but this is what yours will look like. Or if you're Wendy, maybe something a little different, but it'll still look delicious and taste even better. So I'm gonna taste a bit while you guys finish up. Sorry for the tease. Mm -hmm. So let's see. I think the best way to go about it is with a serving spoon. So I'm just gonna go right in. Oh, wow, Lainey. 
Good job. That looks amazing. Are you going to share with your family? Or is that all for you? It's not for me. <laughs> Are you going to try it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. It looked delicious, that's for sure. Mm hmm What can go wrong with three cheeses, right? <laughs> Can't go wrong. Nayelis, that looks perfect. Good job. You guys did so good. My zucchini sort of had to microwave for a little bit longer. See, so if you're like Melissa, feel it out. If they're not rolling up and they feel a little tough, you can just throw it in or maybe it's next time just cut it a little thinner. That's why I will say that mandolin that Lainey and I used, so easy. Um, so For sure. All right, sorry to uh, do this to you guys, but I'm going to try a bite just to let you know if it's poison or not. You know, somebody has to do it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Uh, I'm still alive, so it's not poison. So good. I love the oregano, that kick of herbs. And then that creamy cheese inside and the melty cheese on the outside. This is a good one, you guys. All right. Good job, everyone. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of the steps I went over? Lainey is probably in the oven. Uh, Melissa, are you rolling yours up now, or are you, are you still my Yes, I am. I'm rolling it up. Awesome. You're going to enjoy this so much. So, next time, play around with the cheeses, guys, the herbs. This... Wendy, did you, so Wendy, how is it going over there? Are you guys filling yours up and rolling them? Hey, right now we're we're still in the process. We're in the process of, the, of putting the zucchini slices into the microwave to soften them up. And yep. yeah, and then from there we're gonna decide whether we want to roll them up and put it back in the microwave. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. I'll keep you posted. Okay. So if you see in the chat, Lynn sent you guys all the ingredients. So if you missed anything. They're all right there. Okay. So basically, once your zucchini slices come out of the microwave, you're going to fill that with the ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, egg, and garlic powder. I'm going to roll them up. You're going to put some tomato sauce on the bottom of your dish and put your on top of the sauce and then cover that with mozzarella cheese. Okay. Anybody have any questions? So, Lainey, now that yours is in the oven, did you find this difficult or easy or medium in between? In between. In between? What was hard about it? Or what was, you know, a little challenging, maybe? Um, the thicker um, zucchinis wouldn't, like, yeah. roll up. Same here. I had that problem, too. So we're on the same page. I but, think. yeah. Were you saying something? But now we know for next time, hey, being that I saw that I cut my zucchini too thick, maybe next time I make this. I'll cut them thinner. So cooking is all about learning. And eating. <laughs> How about you, Melissa? Do you find this easy, difficult, medium? Um, it, could, it could be easy if you like follow through precisely. Like it's one of those, um, some of those recipes where you sort of have to be exact or it'll be a little bit tough for you because yeah. when I um because the way I cut it it could have been a little bit thinner so it's a little bit more um tedious like it's taking a Got little you. bit longer and you know 
Yeah. Um, but but like yeah, it's, it's still working out though. Like once you just microwave it a little bit more, it's, mm -hmm. it's easy to do. Maybe ask Nyalis. So Nyalis, I know your hands are a little busy, but how are you finding this? Is it difficult? Is it okay? So how about hard is okay? So medium. Yep, you got my point. Medium is thumb in between. So yeah, I find that of course it's not the easiest, easiest recipe. It's not opening a box of cereal, right? That'd be the easiest, but it's really good. It's once you try it, you're gonna love it. No. Okay. It's all about, you know, getting better next time. I was a horrible cook when I first started, but practice makes perfect. Mm. Okay. I am dying to know how Wendy's comes out. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, we're actually going to try double boiling our um, ricotta cheese. So we're waiting for our equipment to come through. Yeah. With a lot of walking back and forth. So that's what we're going to try doing. Um, the egg mixture. So there's egg in there. So I think she wants, is it because you want to cook the egg before yeah. you put it? So she doesn't have an oven. Um, and she has a microwave and a, you know, a real setup, right? So I think the egg will cook in the microwave if you just put it in there, you know. So like I've made like eggs in the microwave, like when I didn't have a stove or oven. So I think if you just put the mixture in the zucchini and you're planning on microwaving the finished product, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we're going to experiment, but we're going to try those two and see which yeah, one. I mean, if you want to experiment, that sounds cool too. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Well, if uh, we don't finish before this uh, Zoom meeting is done, I'll definitely take pictures and send it to Lynn. Oh, please. Thank you. That'd be really good. All right. So while everyone's finishing up, let's see. Who do we think won our battle? So I don't know. Can we launch this? Let's see. So our person with the polls, there, oh, there she is. All right, so out of our guest chef, and uh, me and Melissa, and I'm sure everybody else out there um, wants to be included, but let's see out of us three, and maybe next time everybody's name can be in there, who do we think won? Melissa with her spicy red pepper. Lainey's looked so good. I don't think I won, so don't vote. <laughs> well, let's see who won. Maybe it's me. I don't know. I vote for, hmm, I can't. I love Melissa's, you know, idea to add spiciness. I love Lainey's finished product. It looked really good. But then everybody else's looks so good too, so I can't vote. So far, Melissa's winning. Oh, yeah, Melissa is our winner. Good job, Melissa. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> awesome. Great. Thanks, guys. Good. So before we end and before we wrap up, does anyone have any questions about their next step in the recipe before we leave you? Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right, so Mashnoon, if you can share our slide again. Great, so once you guys are all done with this and it comes out of the oven, I'm dying to know what it looks like. So take a picture, post it or send it in. And if you do post it, tag us at Family Cook NYC, tag American Dairy NE, and use the hashtag FuelUpTBC. And then if you wanna give us a follow, go ahead and follow us at Family Cook NYC. But next week, I know Christmas is right around the corner. So next Tuesday, we are making eggnog yogurt parfaits. It is gonna be so, so good. I love this one. So you cannot miss that next Tuesday, same time, 4.15, same place on Zoom. And I hope to see you guys there. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Nayalis, Wendy and crew. Thank you, Melody. Thank you everyone for joining. And I will see you all hopefully next week. Bye, you guys. Thank you, Melissa. Bye. Bye.